Hello and welcome, dear viewers. Today, we have a truly fascinating video in store for you. We'll be diving deep into the world of the Dartic 1500, a rare and innovative firearm that pushed the boundaries of design and engineering. So buckle up as we explore the unique features, history, and the reasons behind its commercial downfall. Let's get started. In the nascent years of the 1950s, David Dartic, an inventive American engineer, embarked on an ambitious journey. His goal? To devise a groundbreaking firearm that would surmount the drawbacks inherent in the conventional revolver and semi-automatic designs. Experimentation led him to conjure up an ingenious ammunition feeding and ejection system, culminating in the open chamber concept, a patented marvel that relied on the unique triangular-shaped cartridges known as trounds. At the crux of the Dardic 1500 lay the singular trown, a triangular cartridge with a hollow core. This innovative design artfully encapsulated the projectile, propellant, and primer within a singular unit. Trounds boasted ease of production, diminished weight, and a stacking capability that streamlined storage. A diverse assortment of calibers graced the Trown lineup, including the 38 Special, 22 Long Rifle, and an exclusive 9mm variant. In a nod to versatility, adapter sleeves were conceived to accommodate conventional ammunition, further broadening the firearm's range of capabilities. The open chamber system, integral to the Dardic 1500, fostered swift and dependable feeding and ejection of trounds, encompassing a rotating cylinder with three open chambers, each capable of housing a trown. The firearm's design was truly revolutionary. As the cylinder revolved, a trown would nestle into a chamber and align with the barrel. Upon ignition, the projectile surged through the barrel, leaving behind an ejected spent casing. Such a system conferred several benefits including a reduction in moving components, enhanced dependability, and the tantalizing potential for a superior rate of fire in comparison to its traditional counterparts. Moreover, the open chamber design facilitated effortless chamber inspection, mitigating the risks of misfires or jams. Alas, the Dardic 1500's commercial aspirations fell short. Launched in 1958, it was beleaguered by an exorbitant price and the scarce availability of trounds, effectively dissuading potential buyers. The firearm's unorthodox appearance and ergonomics failed to resonate with many marksmen, who favored the familiarity and time-tested reliability of established revolver and semi-automatic designs. By the dawn of the 1960s, the Dardic 1500's production had ground to a halt, and residual inventory was sold at a discount to deplete stock. Ultimately, a meager production of fewer than 100 units renders the Dardic 1500 an exceptionally rare and coveted collector's piece today. Well, there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed this captivating journey through the intriguing world of the Dardic 1500. Despite its commercial struggles, this firearm remains a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of innovation. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.